Hussein Dambel uh, is my name and um, I run a business called Dambel Business Corporation. We've been operating for 20 years now and um, we are proud to say we have um, set a good path in the area of promotional printing and advertising and we have used a lot of young talents you know, to um, get our dreams going. DBC started um, at my early teens. Um, I remember when my father and mother were into business and my father was a photographer and um, he did a lot of uh, promotional works and so on. So growing in that environment, um, it gave me the insight that um, I wanted to be somebody who would also depict uh, other people's uh, thoughts, their dreams, their ideas and so forth. So I chose print and um, doing that for 20 years now, we started very small like all other businesses would do. Um, from a bedroom to the corridor to a single shop and today to this complex that we have today. And um, it wasn't easy but um, with courage, consistency, persistence and all of that, you know, we are, managed, we are able to get it to this level today. Starting business always, there is this element of doubt. First, um, probably you would start with yourself, with your self-doubt. And that's the first thing you would need to eliminate, that you know what, I'm somebody who's got ideas, I've got talent, you know, I've got what it takes to take it to the next level. And finance should not be the hindrance for me achieving my dreams. Um, I remember when we started um, getting jobs and getting paid in advance, like 50% payments and so forth, that could facilitate the jobs that you do, was not there, we were very young people did not have the confidence to give us to, that money or that capital to start with because they think you would either disappear with that token and so on. So how do you overcome that? It's a challenge, you have to believe, you have to start demonstrating your credit worthiness, your trustworthiness, your, your word. That's all you have at that stage is your word, that's what people would believe, what you would tell them, that you would deliver. Um, with that you would have, there are good people around who would give you the chance to do that. Even if it's not going to be in cash, probably they will give you the resources that you would need to facilitate that job and so on. So um, if you let finance be your hindrance to success, then you would never start. Because nobody would give you that money, you would have to be very creative. How do you get people to assist you with the ingredients that you need? Finance is just one part of what you would need to be successful in business. And what does that money do? You would have to buy a whole lot of other ingredients that you would put together that would uh, give you your business uh, desires and so on. So don't let finance be that uh, stoppage, if you like. Don't let it be that hindrance that would let you uh, not achieve your dreams. I think in today's world, what is most important um, in anything that one does is information. And um, I think Africa needs a platform that would showcase, that would expose, that would uh, appreciate what its sons and daughters have done in the past so people can learn from that and also take it to the next level. And with what you guys are doing right now, I think it's brilliant having all of that uh, creativeness, all of that uh, uh, entrepreneurship and all of that you know, uh, desire to advance, being on the one platform where with a click of a button, people would know what is available, you know, what people are doing, um, how you can be inspired by somebody who has started from scratch or zero. You know, if we have those inspirations, I think um, the kids can have something to learn and look up to and, and they could take it to the next level. So this platform, I give it two thumbs up and I think it would help uh, in uh, in getting us to the next level.